G'day. Today in this video, I'll be tearing apart a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. This one contains the Ryzen 5 4500U, so it's a pretty darn new machine. Now, it comes from the factory with a 256 gig SSD NVMe, and they'll be getting replaced with a 500 gig. Now, to begin with, you'd want to turn it off, flip it over, and from here, you'd be using a, I believe it's a T4 screwdriver. It's a torque head. And you'd be taking out nine screws in total. Now, nearest to the back of the device, those ones are longer than the four that are at the front. So there's only two different varieties. Then once you've taken those ones out, we will need to pry the bottom cover off it. Now all I had on hand at this particular time was a flathead screwdriver so that will potentially do damage to the plastic if you're not too careful. But mainly I was using that flathead just so I can get enough to get my fingertips just under the plastic as there's plastic clips all throughout it on the bottom of the cover. So if you just slowly massage your way around it, you should be able to get in without causing really any damage at all. If you do use too much pressure at one edge, you do risk the, the chance of actually tearing the plastic. I don't believe it should be the case on this model, but I've seen cheaper laptops with thinner plastic where this is definitely a potential outcome. There we go, that's now popped off, and we can see inside the machine. So looking at it, we've got one big single fan. The RAM is under this graphite looking color adhesive or thermal tape in the middle. We have the wireless card and we have the M.2 on the far right hand side. And that one is a half height M.2. So that metal bracket will be coming out with it as well. Sadly on this one, you cannot upgrade your RAM. What you buy from the factory is what you have on the machine. So from here, I'll take out the adapter, which will take out the 256 gig M.2. And then in its place, I'll be installing a crucial P1 500 gig M.2. Now the screw that holds it in is just a standard Phillips head. So you don't have to really use any special screwdriver to be able to remove and reinstall the SSD once you're there. So from here, it's a matter of putting the back cover back on, pressing it around all the edges, just to make sure it clicks back into place. And then from there, proceed to put your torque head screws back into their correct positions. Remember, the smaller ones go to the front of the machine, where the longer screws go to the back. Now I'm just going to put these screws back in and that will do for today's video. I hope this helps you upgrade your SSD and I'll see you in another video. Bye.